Okay. Hi, Sharon here from Down Home Wix, and today we're gonna make a dough bowl, a dough bowl candle. Um, I got these off of eBay. There is um, a seller on there that sells these in quantities that uh, you get 10% off if you order multiple quantities. If you're interested, I'll put the link in the description below. These hold approximately 14 ounces, so we're gonna uh, mix that up today, but I'm gonna show you it's really easy. These come pre-stained uh, and sealed, ready to go. I'm gonna use for this one, it's a smaller bowl. It's about uh, probably eight inches long. I'm gonna use two wooden wicks because I want like a, a rustic farm look to it. I'm gonna use a sage and citrus fragrance oil. I'm melting my wax right now. So real quickly, I'm going to attach my wicks. Um, they attach just like uh, a regular candle. We're just going to take, and wooden wicks are e easy to attach to because they're rigid. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on it. Place it on here. Make sure I can see what I'm doing here. These make really nice gifts. That you can make. And then we're going to let that sit for a minute. Mix our wax and then pour this. So I'll be right back as soon as my wax okay, is Okay, my out. wax is about 165. Um, I'm gonna add the fragrance to it. This is uh, sage and citrus. I think it's really nice uh, fragrance. This is a very sophisticated fragrance. I'm also gonna add some embellishments to it. Now, that's a personal preference, up to you. This is a gift for my sister. She knows what to do. Um, I can trust that she's not going to burn her house down, so I'm comfortable adding some um, sage on top of it, a little bit of citrus for an accent off to the side. I'm not going to fill the bowl with it. I'm not going to create this big fire bowl. It is a wooden bowl, but the flash point on this is 200 degrees, so I'm comfortable adding the fragrance to it now. It's not going to burn off at 165, but we are gonna let it cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna add the fragrance to it. Let it bond a little bit. Stir, 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 and stir. It's important that you stir for a couple of minutes. When the wax is this hot, you really don't have to worry about stirring. And getting bubbles trapped in it if the wax was cooler like 135 degrees um yes it's possible that the wax could start to co congeal and bubbles can get trapped and then you end up with like craters and pits and stuff because the air gets trapped in the wax before um it escapes so you don't want to do that if you do you can always use a heat gun to get get them out Heat the wax back up in the jar. We won't have to worry about that. This wax is still pretty hot. It's still, I like to pour at a little cooler temperature. I don't really like to pour. You can pour this hot, but I don't really want sinkholes. It'll dip, so I like to kind of pour at a little cooler temp. So we're going to bring it down to maybe about 130 to pour. This is a 416 wax. And I will, if I pour it at 165, I'll get uh, sinkholes around my wicks. So I'm going to let this cool down to about 125, 130 degrees and then pour it. And okay. then I'll be back. I'm back. Um, I have uh, my mixture. I have 13 ounces of the wax with 1.3 ounces of fragrance of the sage and citrus that we let cool down and I did pour it so that you wouldn't be bored waiting on it. And then I'm going to um, put a little sage. This is um, from a smudge. Now you have to do this in order for it to attach in here. You kind of have to do this uh, while it's setting up. 
kind of want to put the ends in. It won't stick in there unless the wax is still setting up. Oops. I don't want you don't want to put it in too soon or it won't stick. And then because this is citrus, I want to put some in here. I saw a piece of the jar open. Is, uh, there's some pieces in here that I wanted to use. Bigger pieces. I don't want to use too small. push it down in there because I don't want them to really come off. We're going to let that completely set up. And then we're going to come back and trim our wicks. And that's going to be a gift. Okay, so that's setting up pretty quick. This seems to be setting up faster than a regular container maybe because of the wood I don't know but I think that this is a pretty candle and this would make an excellent gift I don't want to cut it too soon because I don't want to mess up the wax I had to kind of level out my table a little bit we'll put a little twine on it and then label it and gift it off thanks for watching uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe and come back and watch more videos. Bye-bye.